Yes. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's 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 crazy because like we still we still revere when Hephaestus made those weapons, he made the Thunderbolt of Zeus, which right. still is probably regarded as the most powerful weapon wielded by the most powerful of the Olympians. But mm -hmm. he also made a sword for Hades, mm -hmm. and and then they also made the trident for uh, Poseidon, and those Correct. would be the three primary weapons that they would use to create a shift in the entire universe in terms of the rulership of it. So these weapons were no joke. I mean, when you talk about like the strength and the power of it, so that's what they're representing with Jason Momoa is that leadership role. Once you, if you see a cat holding a trident, it's no doubt who's in charge. Like that's all, all, all day long, right? Of course, yes, and, all and day we, long. And we'll see Namor is going to obviously be featured in the upcoming uh, Black Panther movie. So just kind of get an idea of that's what that's what Siri's going to be dealing with in this next film. You can kind of see mm -hmm. he's got that. You know, now now we'll have some further conversations about Namor himself because I think mm -hmm. there's a lot more to reveal about him. But you mm -hmm. can kind of see this even this portrayal. He gives off that that authoritative feeling, that that leadership feeling. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. One of my favorite characters. I, I I can't wait. You know, the Black Panther, obviously one of my favorite characters of all time, but Namor is one of the oldest Marvel Comics characters, period, and was really regarded as one of the baddest. Yeah. So we'll see if Namor gets his relative props, you know, in the movie. Yeah, we'll we, we're gonna have to see. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay.